everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. And when I say exciting video, you know I mean it with a title like this. This is not clickbait. This is not a drill. We have successfully convinced my fiance to be in a video and you guys are gonna meet him today, uncensored. <laughs> you okay? Do you wanna do this Sharpay thing? No, I'm okay. I think we should do it. Do you it. think I need to? Ma! Ma! You're Ryan. So today joining us, we have the man, the myth, and the legend, my fiance. Face reveal. <laughs> Here's his face. I am putting Stuart through so much today because as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, he hasn't yet been publicly on the channel because he's a very private person, but he has graciously accepted being in a video because he's chosen to spend his life with me. Oh, and also his name is Stuart. I have yet to say your name in a video. Here I am. Like Stuart Little. That's me. Basically in this video, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask some questions to my fiance and myself about our relationship or just about getting to know Stuart. So we're gonna answer some of those today. I will say, I'll put on the screen how many questions we received within the first hour. So sadly, we won't be getting to all of them. You guys are very interested and I appreciate your excitement because I too am excited. But we cannot get to every single question because oh my goodness, you guys really popped off on this one. And a lot of people actually are just saying thank you to you for deciding to be in the video because they really wanted to meet you. That's fair enough. It's inevitable. It's pretty obvious that there's gonna be some nerves. Gonna be maybe not 100% yourself in this video, but I'm hoping as you're in more videos, you guys can see his true personality. But in this one, just like, don't screw, don't, don't be mean. If anyone's mean, I will remove this video right now. I will remove this video. <laughs> I will take it down immediately. No, but for real, you guys, it can be very nerve wracking to be more of a private person and be put on a platform with so many people interested in you. And it's not something that you were going to aspire to have in your life. It just, you sort of fell into it with being with me. You guys always are super nice to everybody I have on this channel, including myself. So I'm not too concerned about it, but I'm mentioning it just cause. So we will just get right into this, shall we? Let's do it. This question was from Rebecca XRG. Now I'm probably gonna pronounce some usernames incorrectly, but they asked, do you love Mia's clothing style as much as we do? I do love it. Explain. <laughs> it's just, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> she knows how to dress. Do you love my clothing style? I wish you would take more risks. No risk. <laughs> this isn't risky. Enough. I wish you'd dive into browns. I have an extra bun undone. Okay, next question. This is getting a little bit more serious. Okay. Now, Stuart didn't want to answer anything too crazy today. So I tried to respect that, but this question was asked so much that we need to address it. Okay. Who's the best Spidey? Spidey? Okay, this is from oh. it adori underscore ug underscore 200. They said, who's the best Spidey? For mm. me, it's Andrew G, but all are amazing. Love you, Mia. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the third Spider-Man yesterday. We did, and made me respect them all so much. They're all amazing in their own they way. They are all amazing, to be honest. <sighs> Mine's so obvious, like I don't even have to think. Right. Like it's Toby. You love Toby. <laughs> Toby! I like Tom Holland a lot. I like Tom Holland a I lot too. I think he fits Peter Parker really well, but I think Tom Holland has what it takes. I like Toby for the meme ability. Yeah. I like Andrew because they were just good movies. He's a good character. Yeah, and then I like Tom Holland firstly because I feel like the movies are at like all time high. Also, I just think he's a good guy. That he's a rhymed. Good, good guy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop. Get a fidget spinner. Grab that clip and click it. Why are your hands so sweaty? <laughs> okay, next question is from sh love underscore edits with a Z. Who is more annoying? Me or you? No, Spider-Man. <laughs> How can I answer that one? Well, you have to say your opinion. Cause I, would I annoy myself? Don't get philosophical <laughs> about this question. Who's more annoying? <laughs> well, I know it's you. What? So if you're not gonna answer. Why is it me? Because you just are. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> well, that question might be coming. Who do we always have to tend to? 
You're saying my emotions are annoying? <laughs> Not your emotions, your back, your hip, <laughs> your leg. We always gotta cater to done. your body that's falling We're apart. Done. We're done. This video brought the worst out of you. <laughs> we both just aren't annoying. Oh, period. Okay. We to dodge the question. Yep. This is from Soft J Horton. If Mia was an animal, what animal would she be? And I'm mm. adding and why. <laughs> a dove? Mm -hmm. A bird? You a bird. say I'm a bird. A pretty bird. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I've told you that before. A dove? A dove. Okay. That or a red panda? Love that. Why? Because you're so cute and like you're, you just run around. True. You I run mean, around hard. I've been known to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Underscore junior dot slimes said, are your zodiac signs compatible? 100% compatible. No, they're not. You know they're not. They are. They're not at all. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Stuart is a Gemini, but he is so not a Gemini, you guys. This has been such a long-winded thing for me. <laughs> he is a cusp with a Taurus, and like I swear, he is a Taurus through and through. I don't get that into zodiac signs. It's sort of more like a pastime fun thing for me to do. But seriously, he's a Taurus, but he's not. He's a Gemini and I'm a Pisces. So let's mm -hmm. see. Compatibility. Is Pisces and Gemini a good match? Pisces will feel undervalued and emotionally dissatisfied with a Gemini. <laughs> Is this true? Is this <laughs> With that me? said, Gemini and Pisces are considered to be an incompatible Zodiac match, but because they're both mutable signs, they do have what it takes to work through many ups and downs of their relationship. What is mutable? I don't know. Maybe like it like will mesh into things, but wait for this. Oh my gosh. When Taurus and Pisces get together, it's mm -hmm. a match made in heaven. Both Taurus and Pisces value romance and tend to put their whole heart into their relationship. Taurus will be with someone who truly makes them seen and heard, and Pisces will have someone to ground them and make them feel safe. I'm not, I'm not a Taurus. Be a Taurus! I could not care less about the compatibility of our zodiac signs because mm. apparently Pisces and Sagittarius, which is my mom and I, are also not compatible. And I can honestly say my mom and I are so compatible and we are also so compatible. Breaking news, the zodiac sign isn't always right. What's your favorite food Mia has cooked for you? Ooh. Oh wait, and this is from underscore IV Espino. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing them wrong. I'm just trying to give credit to whoever asked these questions. Right. Some of these questions were asked by multiple people, but I just screenshotted like the first ones I saw. You've been really into baking for a while now and you're really good at it, so. Thank you. I'm gonna do that, that carrot cake log roll. Do you remember <laughs> that? That was really good. Oh my gosh, that was you. so long time ago. <laughs> I'll post really a good. picture of like what it's supposed to look like. I can honestly say ours was a lot flatter and heavier. It was and then dense. you drizzle white chocolate on the top. That was it, so messed why up. Why did I like it? It was good. It was good. <laughs> it was great. But other than that, honestly, that zucchini lasagna we had last night. That was a deep pull. That, that was, was a day ago. <laughs> but like, it was really good. I'm always very nervous to cook with zucchini because it makes everything very wet. And I'm, I don't know why. I wish I wasn't so picky about it. But sometimes when food has like that water dripping off of it, I'm kind of like, I'll still eat it, but I'm kind of like, it's in my head. So I searched up a recipe on like zucchini lasagna, not watery, where you grill the zucchini first and you salt it. And it was like not watery at all. And it was really good. What kind of music does he listen to? Show us his Spotify wrapped maybe. <laughs> I'm not showing my Spotify. Yes, no, no. Yes, you are. No, why? You, all I listen to is lo-fi hip hop. See, these are all from this playlist. I, Coffee. I don't, I've never listened to this before. Have you listened to this? Maybe. A man Shake with taste. It. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Table fan. There's a shuffle. Oh, this song is so good. I ate two eggs. So much range. This is a really casual segue. Okay. How many kids do you want? From Adri underscore Anzora. We're both on the same page here. 
with three. I'm not yet. What? A hundred percent on three kids. <laughs> That's what you said. Well, it depends just on the birthing. <laughs> but ideally, you said three. I if I could just snap. And have three kids in front of me, I would mm -hmm. be like, well, that's easier to commit to. Right. Nella Q I I I I asked, do you have nicknames for each other? We do, of course. <laughs> <laughs> nicknames are great in like the quiet of your house with no one to hear. But then as soon as you have to say them, it becomes like, we're like cringe. I call Mia Peanut. <laughs> And I call you stubby. <laughs> Next question. Emma Matthews underscore one said, what's your opinion on sweatpants and turtlenecks? Interesting. Because that's the... That's really random. Sweatpants. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Turtlenecks. I love. What do you think about the Maples family and Mama Maples in particular? A lot of people were asking about your relationship <laughs> with Mom. Uh, it's good. It's uh, it's great. We see them every day, pretty much. They're very caring. We get up to a lot of fun. And uh, my relationship with the Mama Maples is <laughs> <laughs> is solid. <laughs> if you guys want a little bit of insight into Stuart and my mom's relationship, the other diamond from my ring, he actually made into a necklace for her and gave it to her on her birthday. You've got a special spot for my mom in your heart. They get along really well. Like often if there's a disagreement, they will be on the same side. Like, it'll be like, I'm like, mom, no, that's not. And Stuart will be like, I think she's right. <laughs> MGZA14 said, Mia said that she probably saw you playing when you were young. Do you remember her? Uh, I don't remember you at T-ball because you would have been, what, like two? I do remember that, her though throughout growing up like we went to the same schools always mm -hmm. so i do remember a you remember Mia. me at recess i do with what your, was i doing running around with rachel <laughs> with your curly hair and big glasses <laughs> well the first time we did actually kind of meet i would say mm -hmm. was eli was leaving for a job a job he had like a going away party, so... Oh yeah, that would have been... That's Definitely. probably the most... The first official meet. The first official meet. Yeah, so that's actually that's really probably... Where it started. That's a good way to... Layla Ryder said, first thought when you guys met for the very first time. So let's, let's say that's the first meeting. Okay. What was your thoughts on me? I thought you were very beautiful. And you... <laughs> so funny. So witty very fun it was easy to talk to her that was a big that thing that you always said was that i was easy to talk to and you always had trouble speaking with girls but... what <laughs> that is not true i did not say that she's putting words in my mouth you said that it I was hard not... to talk to girls but it was easy to talk to me i did not say that i said Agree to disagree. I just said it was easy to talk to you <laughs> when i saw you roll up to the party the going away party mm -hmm. i just remember being like it's game time. And right. I just remember being like, I'm going in. You did. And I went in and then it went well. And I was like, okay, seriously, I am so lucky. Like, why is this working out? I remember like, Eli coming up to me and being like, hey, like, like my, my sister and her friend <laughs> want your number. Like, can I give it to them? <laughs> Love no. him for asking you <laughs> right? though. Get you a brother. Like not just giving it. Yeah. yeah, he gave you permission and you said no. Yeah, I did say no. Until later, <laughs> What's the question? I was putting together a volleyball team. Yes. Mia heard about it because yes. I asked her brother Tate to join. Yeah. And Eli, but he, Eli he was not interested. Mia got wind of it and then texted me saying, Put me on your team. <laughs> and then you were. We, we put you on and then that's where it all started. The rest was history. It, I have no shame in telling someone I like them. Like, so what? I like you. Big deal. Like, are you going to make fun of me because I have a crush on you? Do you know what I mean? Like, that is such a thing to be, like, so, like, quiet about your crushes and everything. But for me, like, forever, I've always just been like, so what? I like you. Like, it doesn't it have to be awkward. If you don't like me, that's fine. We can still be friends. Like, I don't need to be with you. I just like you. So why wouldn't I shoot my shot? Shoot your shot, kids. Marion Dree Guzman mm -hmm. said, 
What is your favorite of Mia's qualities? Mm. Just one winky face. They know Ooh. you've got a lot. I would definitely say it's how sweet she is. Just in everyday life. Like she will bring me water. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I am so sweet. <laughs> no, she's... Here I am being sweet again. <laughs> <laughs> she's got lots of love to give to me and the whole world. I haven't quite mastered the art of taking a compliment. <laughs> I also think she's like the funniest person I've ever met. So that that's a huge so one. That is so nice. I love when people say I'm funny. You're hilarious. Because I think I'm so funny. <laughs> and people always say, if you think you're funny, you're not funny. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm funny. And I get reinsurance from the people around me. Nico underscore Chan with two N's says, does anything about Mia irritate you? Um, No, I think there's things about Mia that irritate me. That. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. You literally went, no. No. I think there's things <laughs> that happened to me. So. What? That happened to you. So, like, you're busted back. It irritates me how it irritates you. Wait, what? I'm so confused by that. What? Your back always hurts. You always oh! need to go to Cairo. Every... We're talking about my back. Yes. My I... back irritates you. Yeah, like, every, oh. every week. <laughs> If not more, she's gotta go to the chiropractor, get her back all adjusted. My back is so She's always saying right how much now. she's in pain. And Speaking that of doesn't which, irritate Oh my me, goodness, my but, chiropractor appointment's in like an hour and a half. But the fact that she has that happen to her irritates me. Okay, that's nice. So nothing Wait. about my personality irritates you. <laughs> no. Esther L C K M says, Does he like dog? Didn't know that emoji existed. I'm crying. <laughs> this emoji. <laughs> I love all dogs, especially Chip. <laughs> Chip is great. You and Chip have a really good relationship. We're best friends. <laughs> I wish I had a video, if not, actually. he's my boyfriend. Actually, that makes it weird. <laughs> but I think that's what he thinks I am. I think that Chip does think you're his boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, but we're best friends. Chip honestly really likes Stuart so much. Whenever Chip <laughs> sees Stuart, he runs and like jumps up on him. And then Stuart will do this thing where he like throws him in the air and catches him. <laughs> And Chip is just like obsessed with you. I swear you are like him. one of his favorite people. He definitely likes Stuart more than me. And I like care for Chip so much. <laughs> I feel like I'm like Chip's mom and he likes you more. Melody Trock still said, did you think Mia was weird when she was talking to a camera every day? So this is like, I guess early <laughs> I first on. first found out? Yeah, sure. No, it was pretty cool. Like I thought it was like, I think that's a really fun job. So you didn't think I was weird? Definitely not. Okay, Maggie.khl said, you once mentioned that you watched Drag Grace together. Who's your and your boyfriend's favorite queen? Or your fiance, Ooh, I guess. Yours is... Wait, are you guess? No, I think they're asking right. me and you. You want to say mine? Sure. Right. It's not Evie, oddly, is no. it? No. It's... I mean, I like Evie, but no. Not Trixie. I mean, I like Trixie. I like a lot of queens. You like a lot. I can't remember right now. I know it though. Like once you say it, I'm like. Ugh. Right. It's so hard to choose to be honest. Like, oh my gosh, I literally love so many drag queens. Cause there's like a drag queen from every season that I could choose as a fave. Do you know what I really like? I like Taste. Taste is great. Taste was amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Jocelyn Fox. Oh, That's right. my favorite. I love Brittany. Jocelyn Fox. And Derek Barry. Oh, wait. That's, yeah, that's. Oh, my gosh. I have so Jocelyn. many favorites. <laughs> I also obviously love Charity Case. And it was easy to convince Stuart to watch RuPaul's Drag Race because it is an amazing show. I've seen every single season. Mm -hmm. Like it's so hard to keep up right now because there's so many coming out. Honestly, I've kicked off pretty much every other show because I just need time to watch all the RuPaul Drag Race yeah. and Canada's Drag Race. Gone like, with Survivor. <gasps> Jimbo! Jimbo! Jimbo. Cannot forget about Jimbo. Love Jimbo. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the responses right now and find our last question. Snap Snap Kate said, what type of wedding dress would you like to see Mia in? Okay. Uh, I'm sure look good in every wedding dress as shown by the video that I haven't watched. <laughs> Definitely sleeves. I like that too. Do you want it slim fit or ball gown? I like ball gown. 
Mm-hmm. I like Do you like sleeve. tulle? Do you like satin? What is tulle? <laughs> tulle is like to make a tutu is made out of tulle. Oh, okay. Um, I, I like satin. I like. Mm-hmm. Do you like off the shoulder sleeves or on? I think they can. That's it. Totally depends on the dress. Then there you that's go. That's not the purpose of the man, the wedding. So the purpose of the wedding is not to see my dress. Nope. Weird, I thought it was. <laughs> How do you feel in comparison to when we first started the video versus now, two hours later? <laughs> a bit How do you the same, feel? to be honest. Really? A Your bit. hands aren't sweating as much. As much? As much. <laughs> They're sweating a lot less. This will be one of the hardest videos you probably have to film because from here on out, it'll just be like vlogging if we're on like a mm-hmm. fun trip or renovating if you're helping me renovate something. Those are a lot easier. This one, you were in the hot seat for sure, but I feel like you did good and I'm hoping that you guys got to know him pretty well. I have a question for you guys now though. I have always been curious if Stuart looks like any celebrities and I'm always interested <laughs> to hear people's doppelgangers. So do you think Stuart looks like any celebrities? If not, no hard feelings. Mm-hmm. But I would like to know if you see any resemblance. Johnny Depp. (laughs) Well, thank you so much, Stuart, for being in this video. I'm sure everyone's very excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. And you'll have to read through the comments and see everybody saying hey and all that jazz. It's fun. (laughs) (laughs) We're having fun. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any more videos like this, I would really like to do a baking video together. Mm. I think that would be a lot of fun. We could answer even maybe a few more questions if you guys have any more. And yeah, I'm so happy to not have to censor your face anymore. (laughs) Literally, thank goodness. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will put the charity over in this corner and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!